Jubilee. All right, so today we are going to introduce her to our tools and we're gonna to introduce her to the markers. We're gonna use something easy. We're gonna use the sit command because she already knows that and that's easy. So we're gonna teach her through the sit command, we're gonna teach her that the commands are non-negotiable. Uh, we're gonna teach you what no means, and we're gonna teach you what good means, we're gonna teach you what break means. And then from there, then we can start getting into the other commands. Sit. Good. Good. Break. <laughs> Sit. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Break. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Good. See what I mean? Let's start off from the back. Good. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good. No. Sorry, that caught me off guard. No. Good girl. You could be a lot of fun. Okay. She feels that four. Mm -hmm. It was hell. I'm gonna hold up, hang out at that four. Good girl. Now I need to teach her what it is. That's me. I can't even feel four. Break. Good girl. Two things she needs to learn about the e collar. Well, three things. She needs to know it's me, but she also needs to know that it's gonna be applied to stay commands and recall or follow me commands. That's often where dogs get confused. If you pair it in with like a bunch of stay commands and then you try to do it with a recall, then you end up getting downs in the middle of your recall and vice versa. You end up getting recalls when you're trying to get on the down. So she needs to understand that there's a game that we're gonna play. I'm gonna be asking her to stay sometimes. And if I'm asking her to stay, this is reinforcing the stay. There's other times I'm gonna ask her to come to me and follow me and this will reinforce that. So she needs to learn that this doesn't necessarily mean a command, this is me disagreeing with something she's doing or not doing, okay? So I have to teach her, so I'm at a four, which is really low. Sit, good. First thing I'm gonna teach her with it right now is I'm just, whenever I say no, I'm just gonna tap and put her back in a set at this low level. This way I can get rid of the leash sooner than later. No. So right there, no, tap, pop. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, sweetheart. Good. Break. Good girl. Nice work. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Hi. Jubilee. Come. Good girl. Sit. That's your pattern. Okay? That's your pattern for today. <laughs> That's all we're gonna do in here. No. Come. Good girl. Nice work. Good girl. Come. Good. Nice. Sit. Good. Come. Good girl. Sit. Good. Break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Arrra, arrra. Oh, you like to play. Somebody likes to play. Come. I bet she likes toys. Arrra, 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 arrra. Sit. Good. I'm gonna try to use my body now to tell her what to do. Good girl. No. Good. No. Good. Gotta learn the difference. Good. Good. Come. 
Good girl. Come. Good girl. Sit. Good. Break. Nice, 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 nice. Good job. Good job. Woo! Come. Good girl. Sit. Break. Nice. Nice. Are we smart? Are we smart? What did you do? Are we smart? So, come, good girl. Sit. Good, good. So as I slowly go, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching her how to behave, how I want her to behave. So my, my pet, I want it to be calm. There was a couple times she got excited with it, but you see, this is what I'm going for. Come, good girl, sit. Good. See if I can get her to stay there. Break. Break. Good job. Good job. Uh, with these clicks on the e collar, she's starting to realize it's me tapping her on the mm -hmm. shoulder. You can already see that if she gets distracted and I start clicking. Good girl. She kind of looks over at me. Good girl. Come. Good girl. Come. Good. Sit. Good girl. Come. Sit. Good job. Nice. Break. Good girl. Good job. So. The idea is that she's getting used to the tools. She's learning good, no, break, sit. And the recall starting to go into that. doesn't mean she knows it without the leash, but it's a good way to start shaping it and getting her used to the language that we're gonna be using. Um, and then the more we use it, the better she's gonna get at it. So I like to use sit to teach good and no and break. Those are our markers. They need to know what those mean. So sit is a good way because it's nice and easy to teach. And you get a chance to say good for when they're staying, no for when they make a mistake and break for when they're released. Once they get that, you can start applying that communication to teaching the other commands, right? Luckily for her, she's pretty, uh, she already kind of got an idea of what recall is, so it looks a little smoother. But if she didn't, we would take time teaching that from scratch as well. Break. But you can see, if you teach a stay command, whether it's sit, down, or down, um, and then you also teach a nice recall, you can move your dog around and start having having more control over them. Come, good girl. Come, sit, good girl. Very good. Good. Good girl, not bad. Can we just do this? Not bad at all. I can. I want the whole thing. No, no, no. I want yeah. the whole thing. Not bad at all. It also gives us a chance to know what we're working with here, too. Mm -hmm. So, let me see the knowledge that she has. Down. Down. Maybe she knows it with a hand. Down. Good girl. Break. So she's got a little bit of knowledge with the down. I'll, le I'll leverage that out of her good girl, good girl. So what I'll do is I'll make it rewarding for her real quick. So she'll offer it a few more times. Down. Good girl. Break. Nice job. Nice work. Good job. What's this? Oh, yeah. Come. Good girl. Sit. Good girl, walk around the bed. This is this is going back. It's bring me back. Come. Sit. Good girl. Down. Good. Break. 
Nice. Nice work. Good job. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come. Sit. All we're using is, is come and sit. I'm just starting down too because she's she's fancy. Good girl. Come. Good girl. Down. Down. Good. Getting that e-collar part of the equipment. Come. Good. Sit. Good girl. Slowly, 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 she's starting to realize this is non-negotiable. It was fun at first, and then she starts to realize, oh, even when I don't want to, that's the real trick. Come. Good. Sit. Good. Down. Click on the e-collar at a six. Down. Good. Come. Good. Good girl. Place. Oh, maybe premature, but whatever. Good girl. Down. Good. She's starting to realize this is included in the non-compliance, which can be a little tricky to, to like teach that. Huh? Good. And then if you're in a bigger room, heel. And then you can walk around with heel for a while. You walk around everything. You teach them the concept of like coming to your leg with the pressure. Everything's within drills from, from the beginning. Um, you teach them drills. You keep it predictable so they learn. And then you start mixing up the order so that they have to think. Um, and then you start taking it. And so it's the same thing. She's following. Click. Good girl. This is even reinforced even more that it's me communicating with her through heat collar. Click. Good girl. Good girl. And then once you get her in this rhythm, and this feels good, right? Then it's place, right? Good girl. And then you continue to walk while your dog stays on the bed. Because, again, the program is either you're staying or you're following me. That's, 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 that's it. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Little click every time I do a turn. Good girl. Sit. Down. 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 Good girl. Very good. Very nice. Break. Very nice. Very nice. And then a little breather. All right? No breather. This is how we take breaths around here. Yes, she's, oh goodness. Oh God. And then so a dog is playful like this, then we can use it as part of our drills on a break. Just boom, 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 play, and go right back into, into work to teach them that, that uh, on and off switch. What are you doing? What's this back here? What's going on back there? All right? And then if she gets distracted, we call Wait, that an opportunity. Yeah. Come. Good girl, sit. Good girl. Down. You see how I'm doing it? Down. So that was correct and direct. She doesn't know what to do with it, but I'm teaching her. Good girl, break. Good girl, good, good, good. Sit. Good girl. Break. Come. Sit. Down. Down. Good girl. Set, we hit down, we hit come. Uh, well, that's going to be easy enough to add in there. And then heel, of course, which preferably we'll do outside. But we're already shaping everything. We're shaping the entire program. The entire program has been shaped. Now, this doesn't mean she understands it all separately, okay? But it's a good way to introduce. Then, if you want, you can take sessions and um, just focus on one particular uh, um, command and tighten it and make sure it's a deep understanding. 
But this is an alternative way to introduce the tools. You just start with patterns, which we, what we refer to as drills. We start putting things together. So from the beginning of this video, what I did is I started with a sit. It was a simple sit. I marked it with good and no, and then break to release. From there, I added in recall. And then I did recall and sit until that felt comfortable. Then from there, I added in the place bed. I had her sit on the place bed. It was a nice transfer. And then she's recalling off the place bed, right? And then, and then I decided to throw in down because I knew she, I had an idea, I had a, a hunch that she knew it. Um, so yes, now she's getting used to the tools. She's getting used to uh, everything now being non-negotiable and you can actually hold her accountable with a consequence rather than um, rewarding with food. I'm still rewarding though. You're seeing plenty of reward uh, through praise and bonding and spending time with her. So. Break. Good girl.